Hi, my name's Shanti Montero. Um, I'm just making a little video to share a little bit about the way that I work. Um, I'm a clinical psychologist, I'm a trauma therapist, and I'm an EMDR practitioner. I'm also the clinic head here at Solana Psychology. So I'm really passionate about working with trauma. Um, I believe that symptoms are really meaningful in the context of an individual's life. So my work is about um, creating um, a supportive and warm environment so that we can begin to understand why a person's symptoms present in a particular way. So I do that uh, by using two different modalities. The first one is psychodynamic therapy and the second one is EMDR. Um, EMDR, I'll, I won't say too much about that. Um, there's a lot of information on our website about EMDR. Basically, it is a modality designed to work with trauma and traumatic memories. Um, and the goal of it is to um, stop them being distressing, basically. Um, so you can get some info at solanapsychology.com on our website um, under the Frequently Asked Questions tab. So the other way I work, as I was saying, was psychodynamically. Now, psychodynamic therapy is an insight-based modality. Um, the goal is about increasing insight, and it's also about making un the unconscious mind more accessible to the conscious mind. So looking at internal conflict, looking at defense mechanisms, looking at relationship patterns, looking at how the early life experiences have affected the person the way that they relate with themselves, others, and the world around them. Um, and it's through that exploration that we begin to understand why does this person come with these symptoms at this time? This sort of work is a longer term work. Um, of course, we don't lock you into a contract or anything, but it's more conducive to slow down, exploratory, um, gentle, uh, longer term work. So I use that work in conjunction, in conjunction with EMDR, um, but I'm guided by the patient with that. Um, so the other aspects of my work that come to mind that feel really important um, are about supporting the patient to be really curious about themselves. You know, why do I do that? Why do I find myself in that situation over and over again? Is the way that I am in the world aligned with my values? Um, am I really honest with myself about who I am, how I am in relationship? Um, the other part that comes to mind is about helping the patient to tolerate their own pain. Now, when we th think about emotional and psychological processing, a key part of that is about being with your pain in the present. You know, we have this tendency to repress, to deny, to project out. Um, and this work is really designed to try to make a bit of room in all of those defensive processes for a person to be present with their pain. And usually what we find is that over time, that is what is the transformative aspect of therapy. Um, so I usually work with people that would identify as um, survivors of trauma. Uh, survivors of abuse and neglect. I work with people with dissociation and dissociative disorders. Um, more recently, I work with people that have um, either left or escaped from cults. Um, and I work with grief and loss, depression and anxiety. Um, so if this sounds like this work could resonate with you, um, please feel free to reach out. Um, there are a number of videos on this website of other clinicians, so have a look through them all, see what is the good fit. I would just say that fit between therapist and patient is one of the most important factors in whether um, the therapy is gonna be effective. So choose wisely. Um, and I hope that this video was useful for you. All right, thank you.